Probably one of the top ways to ensure that uh, you're being efficient and making the most of your time here in InDesign is to get to know your keyboard shortcuts. And just about every tool here in InDesign has a keyboard shortcut assigned to it or you can assign your own. So an example of that, if, if I always have my hands on my keyboard and if I press V, then I'll get my selection tool. If I press A, I'll get my direct select tool. If I press F, I'll get my frame tool. H, I'll get my hand tool. Z, I'll get my zoom tool. And you can see I'm highlighted there as I shift through them. But if my hands are always on my keyboard, I'm not having to reach over for my mouse, go up to the top menu item or the tool panel to get the tool that I need. I'm taking a fraction of the second by clicking the keyboard shortcut to get what I need and get it fast. And that helps me be efficient. If there is a function or a tool that doesn't have a keyboard shortcut to it, or I want to create a keyboard shortcut of my own, I can easily do that by going up to the edit menu up at the top and choosing keyboard shortcuts. And once I've selected that, a dialog box appears at the center of my screen. And here I have the default keyboard shortcut layouts. Or if I'm familiar with using PageMaker or, or I'm converting from Quirk Express, I can choose keyboard shortcuts for either of those. And it assigns those keyboard shortcuts here in InDesign. Or we can create our own. So I'm going to create a new set and we'll call this Stevens keys based on default. Now if I want to at a later date I can come back and delete this set but we're gonna go ahead and leave it because I'm gonna modify it. Now this is based on the default set so if there's a sp specific area that I want to edit and assign my own uh, keyboard shortcuts to I can easily do that by coming down and selecting either one of the product areas. If I come down and select either one of these categories, then I'll be able to see the current keyboard shortcuts that are assigned to those categories. So if I select horizontal align center, I can see that doesn't have a current keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to go ahead and assign my own. So in this case, uh, just for the heck of it, I'm going to hit control C. Now if I do that, we know that control C is assigned to another tool or function, in this case, copy. So this is a really nice feature of InDesign because if I try to choose a, a keyboard shortcut and list it here as a possible suspect, InDesign is going to tell me whether or not I can use that or whether or not it is assigned to another function here within InDesign. Well, obviously, I don't want to change Control C because that's my default uh, copy function. So what about Alt A? Well, I choose Alt A and it is available. So now I've just assigned it as the default. Another nice thing about uh, InDesign with the new version is we can assign multiple keyboard shortcuts to um, a function. So in patch drawing currently has two keyboard shortcuts assigned to it. It has enter and num enter. Now if I come over to our tools palette, actually let me come back to that in just a second. Now that, that is, those have been assigned, I'm going to click OK and that'll work. So that's one easy way to create a keyboard shortcut. Now if I typically come in here and hover my mouse over the tools, it would display a pop-up showing me what the keyboard shortcut is for that particular tool. One more item that I want to show you is if you want to make a list or print a list of what your keyboard shortcuts are so that you can memorize them, up at the top we have show set under our keyboard menu here. And this creates a text file on our hard disk and we can print this if we want to and post it on our wall in our cubicle or in our office and memorize these keyboard shortcuts. So this will give us the product line 
where the keyboard shortcuts are assigned. So we can kind of scroll through here if we want to find for uh, object manipulation or table menu. We can see uh, any keyboard that's assigned and if it says non-defined in brackets it means that that currently doesn't have a keyboard shortcut but you can apply one to it. So just another great way to remain efficient here in InDesign. I highly recommend if you're not familiar with keyboard shortcuts and you're not putting that to practice today the sooner you learn your keyboard shortcuts the better and this is just one of the uh, multiple ways that you can get used to it or assign your own so it becomes a little bit easier. You're not expected to know all the keyboard shortcuts but it is a good idea to know the ones for the tools and functions that you use the most.